welcome back to Cursed Mining. In today's video, we'll discuss how Monero Mining paid off as CPU this year just by mining on the side. I did a setup video around the time I built a system, a little test bench out of a used PC I use for signaling out GPUs for videos. Because that means it will run 24-7 anyway, I decided back then that I will give it a stronger CPU for mining and will track how it is. So the CPU in question today is a Ryzen 3700X and I bought it for 200 euro used. For this experiment, I started mining through a new address on support XMR pool and only had the 3700X and these small CPUs of the GPU mining rigs on that address. That might not be fully fair, but my 3700X was also not running at its maximum possible hash rate because of RAM. That's why I grouped them up together. Long story short, since starting this, the pool paid out almost one Monero, or to be exact, 0.996 XMR. Let's not count the extra dust. Of course, that calculation will change a bit depending on price, but I paid around 200 euro for that CPU used, so the CPU, not the whole system, is easily paid off. Let's break down settings first before we talk more about power consumption and other aspects. What I heard from a few people in the comments is that they either have low hash rate or heat issues. Again, I'll link you a video for a few basic settings in the top right corner. Other than those settings, I can really say most is about undervolting while still trying to increase the core clock as well as the RAM. First, I'd always try to undervolt the CPU and get as low as you can. Then try to overclock frequency again as high as you can while staying stable. For RAM, there are a few things you can do like at least checking through the XMP profiles and comparing or if you have slow or weaker RAM, you can nerd a little bit into it and do DRAM timing optimization or overclocks before going out to buy new RAM. Honestly, I would never buy RAM just for Monero mining, but I have to admit rather since Monero mining, I started to keep timings and hertz in mind when getting new RAM, especially from Ryzen since it profits from it. You can optimize a lot of stuff you already have, just that you have to take the time for it and really research your RAM and motherboard combination. So here I am not ideal and that is the reason why I only have 8.7 kilohash a second with the 3700X, while it could do more than 10 kilohash a second with a better setup. Still at around 1.1 volts with around 3.9 gigahertz. So here again, it depends on your motherboard and RAM combo. Some of you manage to go lower in volt while still clocking higher, which is nice. Next then, the RAM or how much RAM tweaking your motherboard tolerates. What we left out for now is power consumption. The PC would be running anyway, but I still checked for you. With the settings and undervolt we just mentioned, the PC is using around 182 watts of power when everything is mining. That is a CPU and GPU, and it needs 125 watts of power without the CPU mining. So with the 1.1 volts, we are adding 57 watts to the system when mining Monero. Now you could take that value and calculate if it makes sense for you to have that little additional power consumption. That's also why you definitely want to undervolt it. Long story short, if you have a Ryzen or any chip with some core and L3 cache that runs anyway or that powers any GPUs, it's well worth it to let it mine something on the side. For example, my main CPU, a 3900X, can mine Monero while I do most things like surfing, watching YouTube, etc. I only turn it off when I really do content creation or say if you would be gaming. You can still easily pay off a more or less modern CPU by mining with it on the side. Of course, this makes most sense if your PC would be running anyway. So for example, also if your gaming GPU is mining, not a bad idea to look into CPU mining. I'll keep the CPU mining experiments going. I proudly mined Monero almost since inception and I never hesitated to use some of it to reinvest in tech or in life. A shout out to some of my colleagues who have done some great CPU mining content like Rabbit Mining and Jump Change. Cheers guys! By the way, yes, I do know the CPU would have earned more over the year going for experimental mining or spec mining like Raptorium. Either if you're bullish on the projects or to exchange for the coin you like, these are valid strategies, 
but Monero is one of the few projects where it actually matters where the XMR come from. Only mind Monero are truly private. XMR you bought at an exchange could link your address to your persona. Mind Monero cannot. So you may like it or not. And because of regulations and general market panic, it has not performed as well as other assets. It really depends on your philosophy and strategy. I'm among those people who thinks Monero might still pull a Bitcoin one day. Who knows? I might be wrong too, of course. I have to say that. Let me know what you have been CPU mining this year and how that has been going for you. At some point, I want to upgrade my own PC again, so that will free up another Ryzen and motherboard combo for experiments like this. Also, the PC from this video will change again soon. Let's see what the future brings. Thank you for tuning in. Also, thank you for all the kind reactions to last week's different video about Axie Infinity and NFT gaming. Let me know what you think. Please subscribe for weekly tech and crypto content. I wish all the best to each and every one of you. Happy mining and bye.